yeah, loads of plastic everywhere. Can we reuse it? And we're ready to paint. What do you think? We've been working hard. Look good, Look how pretty it is. Hello. Everybody else jumps off a cliff, would I jump off a cliff? We've come to the beach today and we're doing some little picking and it's pretty shocking how much plastic there is. Lots of uh, bottle tops and lollipop sticks, yeah lots of plastic everywhere. Pretty sad. Day on the beach. There's La Havre in the distance, the industrial lands. Always a load of big ships there. Big port La Havre. Oh, there's something silver. See it? Yeah, gaff tape. Ooh, gaff tape. Can we reuse it? As they say, start with small patches, so we started with... The biggest one. <laughs> a couple of bits in the middle might be a bit thin, but... Uh, what do you think? No, I think it's all right. Yeah, we need to do those bits in the middle, I reckon. Yeah. Now we just have to do the sides. You can see I'm covered in paint. <laughs> We haven't been recording much lately, but it's because we've been working hard. We got the top decks done. And they have cabin. And we are now doing the starboard side. A bit more scraping to do, and then we can paint it. So yeah, we are really excited about it. Stuart's just gone on the bike to the shop because we need some sanding pads to sand the deck. I've been cleaning the covers in the bee berth because after the winter we got some mold. Um, yeah, so I've been getting rid of that. Um, not looking bad. I've done two today, I'll do two more tomorrow. But yeah, I've been cleaning it with um, vinegar. Apparently it's the best thing for mold and it's working quite good. So, yeah. The store just got back, but look what he got. Yeah, got a sander. <laughs> I just bought, you know, I can borrow Remy's little battery one, but we've got quite a lot to do. And it's only 300 watts, so that means we can run it on the uh, inverter. Cool. That's pretty good. Just forgot to still do the rubbing strike and yeah. Yeah. If we ever get on the canals, you just follow our bus with Hansel and Gretel it all the way to uh, to somewhere else. Uh, blue dust, yeah, they're working on that. And Stuart found a little treasure. 
Look at me. Woo woo wee woo. <laughs> I just picked up a parcel from the marina office and I just wanted to show you the carousel. Look how pretty it is. They just installed it. They're getting ready for the season. And this is what was in the parcel, some EVA foam. So we're gonna be using these little tiles to insulate the covers in the beaverth. Because at the moment they're getting pretty moldy. So we're just prepping the boat for the Kiwi grip on the sides now, well on the side decks. There's the hatch garage all prepped up. And I accidentally measured completely wrong and measured one side of the tape, not the other. So we've got to do one strip on the hatch before the aft cabin. So we've got one strip on the aft cabin to do uh, the hatch garage and the starboard deck. And then we've got a lot of things to draw around and tape around. But once that's done, then uh, we'll sling on some paint, technical temp and uh, call it a day. It is Sunday, so we don't want to, uh, don't want to do too much. Try not to use too many tools on a Sunday. It is Sunday. We do have neighbors down there. been sanding down the rubbing straight so I bought that sander the other day so I've been going crazy with the sander so I got finished sanding the rubbing straight paint that but we bought some paint knowing that we would have to do that job might need another tube of gunk so I can uh, uh, gunk it up between the what's it called the deck and the hull the lid and the hull as it were just run along the tow rail and yet again more taping gunk and tape but it should look quite nice but i'll have to do that i think from the dinghy and don't really what else to say we haven't been up to much uh, we took the headline down in the aft cabin to put a new fitting on um for the main sheet and i will show it to you now I'm getting a bit closer there she blow so here are the fittings on all gunked in nicely. Uh, got the headline in back up all nice and tidy. So that's one good thing done. Because it was rubbing a little bit on the um, on the lid, but on the roof. Uh, when you sheet it in, and I didn't really like that. So I got this little swivelly swivelly number. Um, yeah. So next week. We're running a little bit behind schedule, but next week we're starting on the port side. Ta -da! And the list of jobs goes on. Hello. Uh, what else been happening? Mm, what other jobs? Started sanding. Start getting little bits of resin and filler on this rubbing strength. Should be quite nice. A bit of blue and yeah all between here we just once it's all painted just got to run the uh, the gunk through so tape both sides which is that's a lot a lot of tape and uh, yeah but uh, this should be quite nice mm, looking forward to it and just more cleaning more sorting more organizing boat life <laughs> France is still in lockdown okay yeah, France is still on lockdown but uh, I don't think it stopped many French people, but uh, if everybody else jumped off a cliff, would I jump off a cliff? Um, yeah, so uh, many people are travelling through and doing what they need to do. Yeah. Met these uh, lovely people the other day, and 
and uh, they just bought a boat and they're taking it now to the Med. But then we asked them about lockdown. He's like, well, I've got to, uh, you know, I've got, got to move the boat for work. And then I asked what he does, and you know, he told me his job, and he told me he's been retired for a few years. So I was like, oh, huh. <laughs> you know, mm. needs must. But yeah, I'm uh, dubious about this lockdown. I don't, I don't think it's really uh, well enforced. There's been many a Parisian here in the village. Is it a village or is it a town? We Googled it, it says there's only 7,000 people, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a town. It's got a supermarket. The village would only have a corner shop, I suppose. Yeah, it's got a garage. It's got McDonald's. If it's got McDonald's, then you've got to basically call it a town. There's no village, no village I know that's got a McDonald's. Maybe at Greg's. <laughs> Not in France. Yeah, no Greg's in France. Went to the beach this morning. It was quite nice. Windy. Cold wind coming in from the east still, but yeah, I'm sure at some point. These fellas said once you get below 42, uh, uh, it'll be good, so you can't be that far away. You have no idea how to make... Are you doing recording me? Had you bothered no, I'm not. You I can see the light, the red light doing water. this. You know there you go. Water. No red light. So we'll be taking yours.